Hi, Kinders. This is Miss Park, and today I'm here to do a read aloud with you. And it's a read aloud on a special book to me. It's a book written by a friend of mine. Um, she wrote this book to celebrate her daughter and her son. So let's get started. The book is called Juna's Jar, and it's by Jane Back, which is my friend, illustrated by Felicia, Felicia Hoshino. Do you guys remember what by means? So my friend is the author of this book and illustrated illustrators. What do they do? Do you guys remember? You're right. They draw the pictures. So let's get started. The book is called Juna's Jar. Let's see what she does with the jar. It says, just to read a quick summary, it says, Juna and her best friend Hector love to go on adventures in the park, collecting things to put in Juna's empty kimchi jars. Do you guys know what kimchi is? So it's a special food that a lot of Korean people like to eat. So it's a cabbage and it's very spicy. Mm -hmm. So it's a special food from Korea. So let's see what her jar has to do with kimchi. Juna's family always had a large jar of kimchi in their fridge. After they finished eating all the kimchi, Juna sometimes got to keep the empty jar. So that's kimchi, and it's in the jar. It's like special food, it's veggies, but it's very spicy, and a lot of Korean people like to eat that. My family also really likes to eat kimchi too. Juna loved to take the jar and go on adventures with her best friend, Hector. They went to the park near their apartment building to collect colorful rocks and small bugs. Once, Hector found a green caterpillar. Juna worried that it wouldn't have what it needed to make a cocoon, so they let it go. One morning, Juna went looking for Hector to go on, an, on another kimchi jar adventure. She ran downstairs to his grandmother's apartment. Hi, Abuelita, Juna said to Hector's grandmother. Can Hector come out to play? Hola, Juna, Hector's grandmother said, giving her a hug. I'm sorry, Hector is not here. Then she told Juna that his parents had come the day before and taken Hector to live with them in a big house far away. Hector had wanted to say goodbye, but Juna was not home. Uh-oh, so Juna's feeling a little sad because Hector went away to um, his parents' house. Juna was very sad. When she got back home, her big brother Minho tried to cheer her up. He took Juna to Mr. Lee's pet shop and bought her a small fish. Juna watched the fish swim in circles in her, in her jar. That night, when everyone else was asleep, Juna put on a diving mask and fins and dove into the water. Wow, do you guys see this? So in her sleep, I think she's dreaming. She, she's dreaming that she's going swimming with the fish that's in her jar. Juna's fish took her everywhere. They swam in with sea turtles, played with dolphins, and discovered a giant clam. Can you help me find my friend Hector? Juna asked her fish. They swam to a dark underwater cave. Hector wasn't there, but they found a huge snake slithering in the sand. When Juna got closer, she saw that they, they were actually tentacles. <gasps> Juna wondered if they belonged to an octopus or a giant squid. I wish Hector was here, Juna thought. He knows everything about animals. Wow, so look at this ocean. There's an octopus, some dolphins, sea turtles and a fish. 
more dolphins and a lot of small fishes. So Juno's going on an adventure to find Hector in the ocean with the fish that's in the jar. By the next day, Juno's, Juno's fish had grown so big, its mouth nearly touched its tail. Opa, which means big brother in Korean. My fish needs more space, Juno said to Minho. With his help, Juno put her fish in the aquarium in the living room. Juno's jar was empty again. Minho had an idea. He gave Juno a small bean plant he had grown at school for science class. They found some soil and carefully put the plant in the jar. Ooh, a creative project. So now they're building a small garden in the jar. I'm excited to see what happens when Juno goes to bed. That night when everyone else was asleep, Juno put on hiking boots and climbed down the plant into a lush green rainforest. Ooh, so she's going on another adventure. Juna swung on vines, climbed a tree with a sloth, and sang with howler monkeys. Have, have you seen my friend Hector? She asked them all. One monkey pointed to the river and jumped away. As Juna got closer to the water, she saw that the rocks in the river began to move. They weren't rocks at all. It was the back of an alligator or a crocodile. She wasn't sure which one it was. I wish Hector was here, she thought. He would know. So do you guys see the alligator? Where's the alligator or a crocodile? You're right, it's right here. It looks like the rock, but it's just the back of a crocodile. I love the illustration. By the next day, Juna's plant had almost reached the ceiling. Opa, my plant grew too big for my jar, Juno said. Mino helped Juno put the plant into a large pot on their balcony. So what's happened to the jar now? Uh-huh, Juno's jar was empty again. Do you guys, are you guys excited to see what else she would do with the jar? Are you excited? Let's see what happens. Minho and Juna walked to the park. A cricket chirped in the bushes. Juna quietly snuck up to the cricket and cupped her hands around it. Then she placed it gently into her, her jar. Minho helped her find twigs and leaves and they put them in the jar too. When they got home, Juna punched holes in the lid of the jar so the cricket could breathe. So now they put a live cricket into a jar. Mm -hmm. That night when everyone else was asleep, Juna put on goggles and a helmet and hopped onto the cricket's back. So now Juna is going on a special adventure with the cricket. Juna and the cricket rode through the night sky together. They flew over tall buildings that looked like giant steps leading to the moon. They followed a trail of cars that lit up the hill like a string of holiday lights. Do you guys see Juna and the cricket flying over a beautiful town? The cricket and Juna are flying over a, uh, a beautiful town. Then the cricket landed on a windowsill of a big house. Juna peeked into the window. There was Hector asleep in his bed and on the bedside table was the kimchi jar Juna had given him. Hector looked like he was having happy dreams. Juna smiled. Bye Hector, she whispered. Then she hopped onto the cricket's back and flew back home. So Juna and the cricket found Hector, who's sleeping very peacefully with the kimchi jar that Juna had given him. So he, she found her best friend, Hector. By the next day, the cricket's 
antenna had poked through the holes in the jar's lid. Opa, the cricket grew too big for my jar too, Juna said. So Minho and Juna walked the park and set the cricket free. Juna's jar was empty again. Juna looked around the park and wondered what she could put in her jar next. I wish, hmm, she thought. Look what I found, a girl behind her said. Can we put this in your jar? Juno turned around. A green inchworm was wiggling up the girl's arm. Juna smiled and held out her jar. So Juna found a new friend who had a cricket wriggling up her arm, and now they're going to put it in the jar together. And the end. So boys and girls, what do you think um, Juna and her new friend is going to do with the cricket, with the inchworm and the jar? Boys and girls, remember how I told you that this book was written by my friend? So I asked her, Hmm, what, what made you so interested in writing a story about a jar? And this is what she said. I was inspired, which means I, I had experiences or fun times with the jar. So she thought, oh, I should write about that experience. She said, I was inspired to write this book because I had memories of playing with empty kimchi jars. And like Juna, she was, I was always up for a good adventure. So oh, this book is about Juna going on very, very fun adventures with her, with her jar. So for this week, if you have a jar in your house, I want you to go get it. I don't have a jar, so I'm going to use this cup of Minnie Mouse that I really, really like. And I am going to put things in the jar that is very, very special to me and has really good memories. So one of them is... This tiny two polar bears that I got as a gift when I was very young from my dad. And it is very special to me because this reminds me of how, my, how much my dad loves me. So I'm gonna put it in the jar. It doesn't fit, but I could just put it right here because I don't have a jar that fits. But it's going to go in my jar because it's very special to me. So if you have a jar around your house, go get it and put in things that are very special to you or have very special memories that you like to remember. And take a picture of it. You could record yourself with it however you like it and upload it on Castojo for me to see. I'm excited for um, to learn about what is special to you and if you have any um, fun, memorable experiences. Okay, have fun.